When the financial crisis took grip, investment paralysis was understandable. But the picture has changed, and still, full confidence is proving slow to return. As a result, businesses the world over are hoarding vast sums. US tech giant Apple alone has enough to buy every office building and retail space in New York City with 145 billion in reserve. Combined S&P 500 companies are sitting on a record 1.7 trillion. And even in Europe, where cash reserves have declined for two years, the top 500 companies have between them 1.87 trillion euros. Now add interest rates to the picture, in theory, companies could be accessing cheap money to service debt and expand. But particularly in Europe, where banks are poorly capitalized, this isn't happening. Now add quantitative easing, the US and Japan have deployed this to stimulate growth. But how long will bond markets go along with this strategy? The uncertainty of which is providing another hit to confidence. And our story is incomplete without China. 3.4 trillion in foreign reserves it has stockpiled. That's the size of the entire German economy. Businesses in Europe and Asia have radically pulled back on capex in the past 18 months. With the exception of some in Europe, banks are recapitalized, but reluctant to lend, say companies. Banks themselves say the problem lies with firms being unwilling to borrow and invest because of lingering nervousness. So what should business, finance and governments do to fully restore confidence and unleash investment potential? Let the debate begin.